Hi, it's Becky from The Bass Teacher and welcome to my channel. Wake up today, what shall we do? Let's if you find this video super helpful and make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already watched them, make sure you check out my videos on how to hold the French horn and how to pick up the French horn. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play your very first note. And by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to play your first note, C. For beginners, I would suggest that you take this lesson sitting down. So then you've got the opportunity to rest your horn on your laps and give your hands a break. To play your first note, you'll need to know how to buzz. Not sure how to do this? Then check out my two minute video of how to buzz. For this lesson, you'll need a chair and your French horn. So first of all, let's practice our buzz. So remember, we start by blowing a raspberry and then tighten our lips like this. So your buzz should sound like this from the very start. Now, pause the video and practice your buzz. So, you've practiced your buzz, now let's get on to playing that note. So the first note you're going to learn is going to be C. Now whether you've got a single horn, a B flat horn, an F horn or a double horn, so many horns. The fingering is exactly the same. So to keep it simple, we play C on open, which means you don't put down any vowels whatsoever. So first of all, we take a big breath before we play, and then we put our buzz into the mouthpiece. So your C should sound like this. <laughs> plain sailing. So here's some common problems solved. Becky, my sound sounds really weak and small. I can hardly hear it. It sounds a little bit like this. So one way to solve this would be when you take your big breath before you play, try blowing all of that air into the instrument at the same time as hard as you can and that should produce a stronger note. A quick trick to get you used to blowing more air into the horn is keeping a piece of paper against the wall with only your breath, like this. Once you've tried that trick, go back to trying to play your C and you should hear a big difference in the sound quality and volume. When I play my C, it sounds really muted and a bit strange, a bit like this. So if it sounds a little bit like this, this might be because you're pressing some valves halfway down because you're resting your hands on them. It's quite an easy mistake to make. Make sure that you're not pressing any valves down. So your C should go from this to this. So you can hear the sound is much more open when I don't have any valves half pressed down. It sounds really far away, even though I'm putting lots of air into the instrument. It might sound a little bit like this. If it sounds like this, check that right hand position. If your hand has crept across the opening of the bell, it's going to mute the sound, which will make it sound less full. So make sure you keep those knuckles on the right hand side inside that bell to make sure all that beautiful sound can come out really easily. <coughs> Becky, it just sounds like air. I'm not producing any notes. I'm blowing really hard, but I can't hear anything. It might sound a little bit like this. This sounds like you're not creating your buzz properly. So if your sound sounds a little bit airy and it's not producing any notes, practice your buzz. Go back to the other video and set up your buzz again, going right from blowing a raspberry to tightening it up and keeping those corners down. 
A common problem when you're learning how to play C is that you could be playing too high or too low. So, if you're doing all the right things but your note is higher than C, then what you need to do is just relax your lips slightly. Keep the buzz the same, keep the air flow the same, so the amount you're breathing in, but just relax your lips a little bit in that buzz. So if you're playing a little bit high, like this, then that's a great note, but we just want to relax the lips a little bit, so we play lower. So we go from this, to this. So all I'm doing in between those two notes is just relaxing my lip to go down to the C. You might have another problem of playing too low. This is because your lips aren't tight enough. So if you're trying to play C, but it sounds a little bit more like this, then just tighten those lips a little bit so you can bring it up to a C. If you're having a problem with playing your first note that isn't talked about in this video, just drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you. So thank you for watching this video from the Brass Teacher about how to play your first note. I hope you found it super useful and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Whether you're a beginner or looking to improve your technique, Subscribe to stay up to date. <laughs> Subscribe to stay up to date with all my horn videos. So now you know how to play your first note, make sure you check out my next video about how to tongue properly. Wake up today, what shall we do?